Greetings, YouTube. Happy Friday night, unless you're across the pond, in which case it's already Saturday morning. I just want to do a relatively quick video discussing the difference in terms of health and attack mainly of a six-star rank two vision, OG vision, I should say, versus a 565 five-star. So for starters, OG vision, at least as far as I know, does have better prestige than Age of Ultron vision, who of course is not available as either a five or six-star champion, only as a four-star champion, which is part of why this trophy champion mentality is so tempting for people. Because if they want every champion, and this guy is certainly better than Kang, though that isn't saying much, uh, people go for him, regardless of price, regardless of anything. And so I have seen this screenshot float around YouTube and the line app. We had a Brave Soul already take their Awakened Sig 40 uh, OG Vision and MMX VI to rank 2. And hopefully... For the sake of the price tag of this, which was well over $1,000 when you consider the amount of units plus probably the price tag of those SIG stones since we know that neither version of today's deal included any SIG stones. You could take them to SIG 1 when you, uh, or I guess technically what, SIG 20 when you awaken them? I, I haven't seen the video, but I I'm going to go ahead and say it's SIG 20 because it's like naturally duping a six-star champion, which would get you the same... Sigs. I also think it's BS, and I've said this for a long time, that uh, six stars, when you dupe them, have the same sig amounts as five stars. Kabam's just trying to milk the whales when it comes to six stones, but I digress. You can see in this rank two six star vision screenshot, the PI is 14,299, the health is 34,873, and the attack is 4,577. Now, as many of you who watched my earlier videos about this deal know, I have a SIG 200 rank 565 OG Vision that even with full suicide setup, I bring in every week in Alliance Quest, and he is my MVP against those mini-bosses. Hopefully, he will still be the MVP against the mini-boss when Red Skull replaces Morningstar uh, for map 5. But, uh, okay, so 14,299 PI with 4,500 uh, attack and 34,000 health. Let's go to Mime, who at SIG 200, of course, SIG is not dependent on the PI uh, in terms of uh, what I, I, I mean, it is dependent on PI, but not in terms of attack and health. 14,900. So the PI difference, because it's SIG 200 versus SIG 40, is uh, big. Now, maybe the mastery setup is a lot different too. That could factor in. But health, 32,109. Comparable to 34,873, right? I mean, I'm, I know it's not as big, but it's still not so vast that you would see a tremendous difference in the fight durability between a rank 2 6-star and a rank 5 65 5-star. And then attack, 4214 to 4577. Now, the big thing about OG Vision that I want to emphasize before I end this video is that, as I said earlier today as well, Kabam has come out recently this year and been tr pretty transparent regarding the fact that rank 5 champions gain power faster on combos than rank 4, 3, and certainly 2, and very certainly 1. So Vision's main resource, besides the, the double immunities of bleed and poison, comes of course from the power burn, power control uh, ability. Now we can have a fun debate as to whether or not a six-star magic is more valuable than a six-star OG vision because despite the lack of that bleed and poison immunity for magic, you still have a insanely amazing power control champion that certainly rivals vision. And I would say some even argue that she's better than vision. But regardless, I got this guy for uh, 6,000 units total. Once upon a time, by the way, thanks Kabam for kabamming us and not giving us the second tier. I have heard from quite a few people, and some of you watching this might be included in this discussion, who saved 6,000 units because they thought that the same two-tiered level deal would come back for the five-star, but today they only had one tier. They could buy them, but they, can't, they couldn't awaken them. What is that trash? So, you tick people off with only half of a five-star deal, and then you charge $1,000 worth of units for the six star. It's the kabam way to deplete your units with trash offers. But regardless, I just have to say this is my conclusion for what it's worth. 
I can spend 6,000 units on a good case scenario. I guess today it was uh, 3,000 units because you couldn't awaken him. But 6,000 units would awaken him, and eventually I'd get him to 565 or for, uh, that's $100 worth of units for 3,000. Let's say you got 3,000 just to get him. Uh, or I could spend five times the amount of units to get a champion that isn't going to have nearly as easy of a time. In fact, with the way that six star, six star, uh, six stones are saying, I should say, uh, they're not going to be able to be used in this champion for a very long time. So if I've got a SIG 200 versus a SIG 40, dare I say it's a much better value, especially if you can awaken them, to get the 3,000 unit vision and take it to 565 than it is uh, to take one more tier 5 basic, which is the amount that you need to take a 6 star 2 rank 2, aka 3 instead of 2, and uh, take them up. Because if you don't have another 15,000 units or $500, you're not going to be using that rank 1 to rank 2. Rank up gym, you're going to be using items the old-fashioned way. So, I am not impressed at all with the difference. I will post this video online. Thank you to everybody who sent this screenshot along. Uh, if anybody takes them to rank 2 and like to send over some gameplay and compare, that'd be great. But for now, we've got the screenshots, and that's what we're using for B-roll, as they say on this uh, Friday night YouTube video. Have a good one, YouTube. Uh, tonight, I'm celebrating 500 streams on my channel. Very excited to do that. I'll see a lot of you soon.